guys, um, long time no see. Not really. Anyways, um, since this is the first part of the show, or whatever you want to call it, discussion, um, I'm going to start with little updates about my life. Uh, not that you really care. So, first update is that I think I'm getting sick, so I'm switching from coffee to tea for a little while, um, just because coffee dehydrates and it really hurts. Um, but you don't really care. Um, other updates, um, I got a call from Barbizon Modeling yesterday, and they want me to audition for modeling and acting, because I entered a contest back a while ago, and I guess they thought it was good, and I don't know. Personally, I'm not really interested in modeling. I'm not the model type, and I don't have the model looks, but acting has always been kind of a thing I enjoy. Um... And I'll go into that a little bit more at the end, so if you want to hear about that, stick around. If you don't, you know. I mean, you'll like the other stuff in the middle, I guess. I mean, that's why you're here. The name of the video, you know. You know, my dream goal is to one day be worthy of a gif, and there's Nutella on my face. Why didn't you tell me? It's embarrassing. Today I'm going to be discussing a ship that's been stirring up some controversy in the Teen Wolf fandom as of late, because that is my fandom right now, that and Supernatural. Um, but I'm sure you all know what the ship is. Steric. Come on. Steric. It's, it's controversial. Um, there's a lot of fans who ship it, and there's a lot of fans who don't. Um, before I start the discussion about um, what this about Steric, and um, it's going to be more than Steric. It's going to be a little bit about last night's episode, Echo House. So if you're trigger triggered by um, mentions of suicide, um, I probably won't really bring that up. But if you don't want spoilers, click that little X, because this is probably going to be spoiler-filled. And um, a forewarning, a forewarning before I start, um, I am biased because I myself am a steric shipper, but I am also a Stydia shipper, which is Styles times Lydia. Um, so I kind of go back and forth, um, but I am biased in that way. I'll try to be as uh, diplomatic as possible um, with my opinions, but again, they are my opinions. So, um, you know, if you disagree, comment, tell me why. Just be respectful of everyone's opinion. The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that so many people complain, on Tumblr mostly, but just in general, they don't, they complain about the fact that Steric is a ship to begin with, Styles and Derek. Um, they say it doesn't make any sense, there's no canon um, evidence to support it, and that the actors don't like it, and blah blah blah, well, that's not true. Um, that's just simply not true. You might not have seen it. Um, but particularly, like, people who already have Steric as a, in mind for their ship, they're gonna pick out those things that they're like, oh, hey, that's kind of a Steric point. Um, but, really, there's all these different points. Like, in Season 2, when Matt, you all remember Matt, if you saw Season 2, um, when Matt, the Canima, paralyzes Styles and he lands on top of Derek, and what does Matt say? Oh, I don't know, Derek, I think you two make a pretty good pair. Now, if that's not hinting at the steric shippers, then I don't know what that is. Because when people talk about there's no canon support for it, I go right to that scene like, were you not listening to it? You did not watch the second season? And then there's the fact that they were in the pool together for two hours. And Styles held up Derek the whole time. And so, he got, yeah, you know the story. But anyways, like, they were in the pool for two hours! Obviously, Styles cares enough not to let Derek die. They banter back and forth, yes, but I don't, honestly don't think, even back then, I don't think they would have killed each other. Uh, that is up for interpretation, of course. But, um, even the actors' opinions on it. Hecklin even says now, um, Tyler Hecklin says that, um, they kind of went from not being able to stand each other, not caring if the other died, to now they care a little bit more. He said in season three, you'll kind of see that Derek kind of cares a little bit more about Styles, And that's what I don't understand when people are like, oh, they hate each other, they can't stand to be each other, only Scott brings them together. But, I mean, the thing I'm going to talk about 
and this is something that really bugs me, is when people say that steric is an abusive relationship. Um, when they talk about abusive relationship, they're mostly pinpointing the points when Derek was verbally abusive um, in his banter. He, I mean, yes, he's threatened Styles. He said, I'm going to rip your throat out with my teeth if you don't start the car. Now, whether Steric, uh, whether Steric, whether Derek was being completely honest or not, we're not really sure. Um, but, okay, a Abuse occurs when the person that you're abusing, when the person that you're abusing, when the person who's being physically and mentally harmed is truly damaged by it um, and has no way of fighting back, is defenseless, as stare, er, I'm going to shoot myself in the face, <laughs> um, as stated by Derek, skinny, defenseless Styles. but in all honesty, Styles, he's the human, yeah, Derek... I don't want to call him Steric again. Obviously, Derek has the upper hand. He's a werewolf. But that doesn't stop Styles from doing a playful banner with Derek. If it came down to it, if St if Derek was really going to kill Styles, Styles isn't skinny and weak and defenseless. He's smart, okay? He might not have the strength, yeah, but he's not a weakling. And that's what, that's what really bugs me when people say it's an abusive relationship. If it's abusive, then you're saying Styles can't put up a fight. And in my opinion, I think Styles could put up a fight if he really had to. Alright, now it's time to dispel a myth. And this myth is, Steric shippers are evil, horrible people who send Tyler Posey hate for what he said. Um, if you don't know the controversy, look it up. Um, Tyler Posey said, basically, in short and sweet and to the point, that Steric was weird, bizarre, and twisted. Now, um, I want to dispel this myth, but before I dispel this myth that Steric shippers are sending him all this hate and horrible stuff and saying horrible things about Tyler Posey and also going back to last night's episode saying, sending hate to the actress and saying, oh, Malia's disgusting, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. So, the whole Posey controversy started a couple of days ago. I logged on to Tumblr, and I was like, oh, what's going on? I was going through the Steric tag, and there was all this stuff. And you know what I saw? I didn't see Steric fans making threats and telling Tyler Posey to die. I literally, being 100% honest, going through the recent post tags, saw Steric shippers saying, don't send him hate. Yeah, what he said was wrong. It really offended me, and I'm hurt but don't send him hate because that's just going to prove their point. And that's it. That's pretty much all I saw. I saw one post saying to boo Tyler Posey, and the people who reblogged it were commenting saying, oh my gosh, no, don't do that, that's horrible. Um, and I saw... Mm, I saw, like, one person on Twitter saying something to Tyler Posey. Um, and then, and this is all in the steric tag, mind you, I saw anti steric people saying, stop sending him hate, you're horrible people, I hate you, um, steric is disgusting, uh, and using what Tyler Posey said to defend their hatred of the ship. Um, literally, people were going to the point of, um, saying, Tyler Posey hates steric and you should too, but, uh, and people, even people who are steric shippers, and the people who weren't offended by it thought that steric shippers were reacting in this way when I didn't see any of that. I saw only positive things with, you know, uh, the occasional exception. But um, I saw positive things, like, everywhere. Positivity, all this stuff. Like, I don't know where you're getting this hatred from because I am not seeing it. Except for the anti steric people. And I'm not even being biased in this. I... And that's why I'm going to prove the myth is wrong, because I'm going to go through the steric tag, um, most recent, and I'm going to read a couple of the posts, I'm going to go through and skim a couple of them. Um, um, here's someone that's kind of upset about what happened, um, and I can understand this. Guys, I'm so angry, for some reason I cannot release it, I thought Teen Wolf was going to be different, but it's not. It's like every other show, straight people get everything, hundreds of channels with shows about them. And then there's someone in the steric tag, um... Like I said, this is all in the stare tech. Nope, just nope. The only girl I want Styles to be with is Lydia. Has no connection to Malia, so why? Duh, that episode freaked me out. Can we not hate on the ship of Styles and Malia? 
We hate it when people hate on our ships. I am not a Stalia shipper, I ship Steric. Can we not be hypocrites for once? But I, I have seen stuff where people are hating on the ship of Styles and Malia, but personally, I really dislike the ship too, but it isn't because of the Steric shipping or the Stidia shipping on my part. It's for more problematic reasons that I will discuss later on in the video. Thank God for Blacklist. Amen. This is in the Steric ship. Um, I am literally so done with people who ship Steric, especially after the way they treated Tyler Posey. Mind you, I've been going through the Steric tag and haven't found one negative thing about Tyler Posey. When I went through the tag a couple days back, and I mean, it's been days now, and yet I've gone through the Steric tag and all I have found are people who are anti-Steric still in our tag saying negative things about Steric. So, since I showed the one side of the tags, um, obviously I'm going to have to show both sides of the tags because recently, um, since the Tyler Posey incident, and it probably existed before then, but there has become a popular tag on Tumblr, anti-Steric. And a lot of what I see in there is just pure hatred, um, people making up lies again, and, uh, and you're gonna hear it straight from my mouth, what I'm reading, and I'm not making it up. Okay. You all, you guys are all mad that Styles was with Malia and not Lydia or Derek. I'm just sitting here loving the fact that Styles actually looked happy with Malia, it's something he's never been with Derek or Lydia. Now that's a lie. I'm reading that some people just ship Styles with Malia only because they hate Steric. I don't know what their support for that is, but I guess I'll find out while I go through this tag. Hmm. Oh, well it was it wasn't Derek, but at least Styles lost his virginity to a hail. This is in uh quotation marks. I'm sorry, but Malia is something like a female Derek Hale to be honest, with the death family and guilt complex and parent and quotation marks again, and then the person responds in the anti steric sa tag saying, kill it, kill it with fire. The only reason why I kind of want Derek to die is for that ship to die with him. This is a kind of positive thing. Why do anti steric people say steric shippers hate Malia? Seriously, I think everybody here is more upset with how the story is kind of sucking at the moment than, Leah, than Malia herself, but okay. And people are also tagging this with lol steric. Steric shippers creep me out. You raise hell every time Steric and Styles look at someone else. First it was Lydia, then Jennifer, now Malia. I'm so here for Styles losing his virginity to someone that no one expected in a way that no one expected. At least we know it was Styles and not the new Gitsune and his body controlling him. I can't wait to gauge the Steric fandom's reaction to this. Cue irrational Malia Tate hate for no reason. Mind you, there has been no Malia hate Tate in the Steric tag. Anyways, I'm going to stop with that because I think I've gone on long enough and obviously this is the anti-steric tag so there's going to be a lot of hate in it but you go in the steric tag and the hate that the anti-sterics are talking about isn't there. So, sorry guys, but it's just not true. I'm going to talk about um, the anti-sterics and the Malia ship. I'm going to talk about the incident in Echo House last night. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Um, Styles and Malia, as we have seen in the episode, um, seemingly have sex in the basement of a mental institution. Now, people who are disliking of the ship, such as myself, who are doubly Stidia and Steric shippers, are getting called out and saying they only hate the ship because they ship Steric mostly Steric and Stidia, um, when that simply is not true. The reason I dislike the ship is I really dislike how it was done. First of all, Styles has only known Malia for two episodes. Um, the first episode, the majority of the time, she was a coyote. Now, mind you, she has been a coyote for eight to nine years of her life since she was around eight years old. Um, and I see a lot of people making the argument that she has the mental age of an eight-year-old. Um, personally, I think that would be accurate, but the way that she was written and the way that she was speaking in last night's episode, she did not seem like an eight-year-old at all. And 
this isn't, uh, that's just not accurate. And that was a plot hole in Jeff Davis's story writing because it's, and, and why was she in the mental institution in the first place? Did her father put their, her in there? Did she just walk in? How did she just walk out? And personally, I just think there's something suspicious about her, but, you know, whatever. Um, but along with that, like, okay, so Malia killed her parent, her mom, her sister, and has been a coyote for most of her life. How does she know what sex is? It's not like she was hanging out with humans or other coyotes. Like, how did that even happen? How does she know what that is? I just kind of want an explanation for that. And how does she have such great vocabulary when she's only been a human for, what, maybe a couple months? Maybe? I don't know, a couple weeks? Um, so, these are just plot holes. Um, so, that is one reason why I really dislike the styles in Malia ship because how badly it was done, um, how badly written it was, and how it didn't seem to fit, and it just seemed out of place. I mean, and then there's also, of course, the timing and the glorification of the fact that they're in a mental institution. The way that the mental institution was described and shown, I really disliked, but um, I thought it was really interesting. But I, the fact that, I, I get it, they wanted comfort from each other, Millie and Styles, and Millie was lonely, but comfort and sex are not the same thing you can be each other's comfort without doing that and yes maybe styles had some of his um self-control worn down but come on styles this girl is practically eight come on styles the reason why i'm calling out the milia thing and how this relates back to steric um is that so many anti-Steric fans are saying that Steric is an abusive relationship, um, that it is consent issued, and then they go and they ship Stalia. And to me, that is hypocritical. You can't say that it is consent issues because, because the age difference and all that. And yet, Stalia isn't, even though she should have the mental age of an eight-year-old and has been a coyote for her, almost her entire life. Having sex with a coyote, does that cause consent issues? I think a little bit more than Steric, especially considering the fact that, yeah, Steric, um, Derek and Styles, yeah, they they do have an age difference, but the actor's actual ages are around the same. So... Not to mention, Styles is 17, and he's going to be 18, so it's not really that much of a consent issue. But it's just... Anyways, end point is that you cannot, you can not ship a ship. It's fine to not ship a ship. You don't have to ship Steric, you don't have to ship Stidia, you don't have to ship uh, Stalia, you don't have to ship any of that, but... Making up lies and exaggerations about the Steric fandom to get people to dislike them is another thing. Yeah, there might be some of us who are a little irrational, who say bad things, but that it's stereotyping when you say the entire Steric fandom is like that, especially when you're not in it, when you can see the inside from the inside out and know, like, people I follow and the people I see in the tags aren't really like that. Um... So, to end this, um, I just want to make another comment. Hate posts I've seen to Tyler Posey. I've seen <laughs> many posts from Steric shippers saying not to send Tyler Posey hate. So, you go, Steric fandom. Um, Steric fandom. Yeah, we're a whole new fandom of our own, didn't you know? Uh, you go, Steric shippers. Um, you be positive or keep up that positivity. Um, I'm going to leave us on a positive note. I still think that Steric is endgame. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a studio shipper, but the way things have been kind of hinting, the parallels between um, Jennifer and uh, Derek and Styles and Malia just seem too similar, and I think it's I think it's endgame. So I'm going to leave that with some positivity. Um, yeah. Last thing I want to say is I wanted to go a little bit further into the... Um, whole thing I mentioned at the beginning with the acting uh, and modeling. I'm not really interested in modeling, like I said, um, but acting-wise, 
Um, I'm really actually really interested in acting, um, and my roommate did not know that I could act until last night. Um, so I told her to give me a scene to play out, and she told me, of course, being the person she is, to act like someone who just found out they had herpes. And she almost cried from my reaction. So um, I'm thinking maybe my next video will be some me doing some skits and stuff. Uh, make some comments. See, tell me what you want me to see. What you what you want to see me act out. Um, Pretty much anything is up for grabs. Like I said, she told me to pretend I just found out I had herpes. Uh, and I can make myself cry, so... Don't. Just, just send me... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still emotional over that episode. Just... Just send me something. Um, I would love it. Bye.